Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I am going to show you something related to UiPath apps that is very much important in any of the UiPath apps that we do. Mostly we do apps for good look and feel. So the UI should be good, right? So whenever someone looks at the app, the most importantly captivating thing is images. So with the new VB apps, uh, update we don't have the image binding just like how we used to do earlier so in this case i'll show you in this video how we can do the image binding with the latest update so without any ado let's get into the video and it i'll try to show step by step is it will be divided into different uh portions because we are not going to do it at a single place like earlier when we used to do the image binding so now there's no such option so let me show you how we can do that and how you can achieve it. So if you wanted to learn, start doing it parallelly with me. By end of this video, you could able to achieve how we can bind the image with the latest UiPath apps. So yeah, let's get into the video. So if I wanted to create a new app, just for this, I am doing image binding demo. Okay, just take a blank page. Okay, so here we are. Earlier, when you take a, when you add a control of image, we still have an option called image binding. So there's no such option here. All you have is the source. So if you go inside the source, there is an expected type, which is apps file. Okay, so you have to provide the image or the file that you wanted to display on your app should be of the type apps file. So how you can get that, how you can get this variable or this data type into your app and how you can do this. So let me show you that. Now, first and the foremost thing for that is you should have the image uploaded into your storage bucket. So if I go to my orchestrator. So you just have to create a storage bucket, okay? Add one of the storage bucket. I just gave apps bucket. So inside this, I have created, I have uploaded, okay? I have uploaded one image, okay? So which is sample.jpg, whatever the image that you want, you can upload that over here, which you wanted to see it on your app, okay? So your app, uh, your uh, image should be uploaded into your storage bucket. So that's the first step. And after which, if you wanted to get uh, the image to be displayed here from the storage bucket, something which everyone knows, you have to add that storage bucket into your apps. So how you can do that? Just do add, click on the next, select your tenant and your storage bucket, okay? Just say add. It's getting added to your app. Done. So we can see that the storage bucket has got added over here. Right. So perfect. So this is step number two. We have added the image into your storage bucket and connected that storage bucket into your app. So now the other thing is we have to connect the image as well as uh, the particular control into the image. So how we can connect, this is expecting a uh, an variable, which is of type apps file. And this is an image, which is some JPG file or PNG file, right? So how can you connect both of them? So the first thing what you can do is you can create one variable, okay? So I'm gonna create one variable, which is of type, apps file okay and just give one sample image just give some name okay this is my app variable so i have created my app variable connected my storage bucket with the particular uh, image and i have added that image in the storage bucket so three things done now the thing is establishing the connection so in this particular page, in this main page, you have the image, right? So you have to add a control. You have to add a 
event okay you have to create a rule if you see here we have an rule like download file from storage bucket so we are going to download the file from this storage bucket so we have already linked this storage bucket correct so i am going to link this storage bucket and what is the file name so if you see here we have to provide the file name this storage bucket can have multiple files but what is the file name that you wanted to display okay so this is the file copy this whole file and if you see here file name with extension you have to provide the whole file name and it is asking for a string so the expected type is string so put this whole thing in the double quotes and give it along with the extension just say after that assign file to app variable correct we have to assign the file to app variable so what is the app variable if you see here we have created the app variables and the variable should be of type apps file right so we have created it perfect so we have linked to the storage bucket what the file that you wanted to take from the storage bucket and we have assigned that value into the app variable perfect so finished so now in the vb expressions we know that we have to whatever the source that's there here if you see the source so this particular source will be used this particular uh, expression editor right so this expression editor will be used to connect all these variables so we have got that particular file from storage bucket into our app now so how did we get it we have uploaded here and we've connected that to our app and the next thing is we have created a variable and whenever we are opening this main page we have a trigger right we have a event that downloads the image that downloads the file from the storage bucket and it is assigned to this particular variable so that means this variable itself contains the image so all you have to do now is you have to connect that you have to assign it so basically we are assigning that into our image so how do we do that we have to first go and check for the app variables okay under the app variables what is the app variable that you wanted to connect it to so we have the sample image so from the sample image which is the app variable inside the app variables you have wanted to assign it into your image okay so this is the image so let's just increase the size of it so we can see it clearly okay that's it it will be saved and let's go to the preview there was a problem previewing this app uh let's see the trigger this bucket is a class of type okay let's try now now uh, it's not linked properly let me check it okay so apps bucket is a class okay so there's a maybe some naming issue which i have gave as apps bucket could be a predefined one as well so that might be causing the issue let's change the name of the apps bucket if it's still throwing an issue let's see if everything is saved okay so what i will do is um can't edit okay so just i'll change the name could be the chance of the name okay so upload so i will link it again now with so basically first i have to delete this because i have to 
upload a different storage bucket. So you can see the whole process once again now. This is the bucket that I wanted to add. So once after it's added, Okay, so it got added and then I'm going to the main page. I'm creating a rule. Okay. Apps demo bucket. Okay. So let the name be the same because it's the same file that I've uploaded here as well. And the variable be the same. Just say close, save, preview. So what I have observed is it's not about the predefined name. Okay. So you can also maybe take it as a learning because uh, when I, when I did the same thing, just like how we drag and drop the variables. So if I drag and drop like this, it's causing the issue. But if you see now, if I drag and drop and then I'll just save and go for preview, this is causing me an error. So it says, the problem is invalid binding, okay, invalid binding in the events. But then if you see, if I double click on it and then I save and go for a preview, it is working fine. So it is something with respect to binding. So whenever you're doing binding for the storage bucket, make sure that instead of dragging like the variable, just try to double click and then it works. So this is something that I learned now. Okay, so let's go and see the preview of uh, the image that got binded in my app. Nice, wow. So we finally got the image onto our app that got binded, right? So I hope this you found useful. So it's quite simple that I have split the video into smaller parts to make you understand it more easier. The first thing is, let's go summarize the whole thing. First thing is you just upload the file that you wanted to show on your app into your storage bucket. And the second thing is link the storage bucket. Third, create the variable, which is of type apps file because your image needs, right, the source. It needs a file, which is of type apps file. The data type is apps file, okay? So before you assign this variable there, you also have to remember that you download the file, okay? That you download the file here. So that you download the file from the storage bucket and what is the file name and assign it to the variable. And finally, you can just put a, that in the source. So there's a way that you access this particular file, which is an app variable, app variables dot, app variable dot, sample image, whatever the file name, okay? So I think this video is clear. It's pretty much simple and easy way to make you understand how you can upload the file uh, or you can bind the image um, from the storage bucket into your apps. So if you found this video useful, please share across your friends or who are working on your path apps. And also do consider subscribing and follow me for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.